Hey there, I'm Cynthia DeLuca and welcome to my vlog. If you're looking for anything real estate related, whether it's information or education, be sure to check out my website at CynthiaDeLuca.com. That's also where you'll find any of the additional information I mentioned in the vlog. All right, so let's dive into this session's topic. Okay, so we're more than halfway through the year. This is the perfect time to do, or maybe even a little bit behind the perfect time, to do a mid-year goals checkup. So I'm gonna give you four things to review for your mid-year goals checkup. Number one, your marketing budget. How is your marketing budget going, especially with the current times and the current economy and the real estate market? Are you in line with spending enough money to continue to get those leads in the door and continue to attract new buyers and sellers and, and people that you're working with? Or are you spending too much money and maybe you're using the money in places that it's just not working out? So you need to go back and track how much your marketing budget is and how much you're spending. The next thing is your income. Now this is your overall income or your sales, depending on how you structured your goals and making sure that you're looking to see you're on track with that. If you're not on track with that, you probably need to adjust your marketing budget and maybe some of the other things. So the third thing is your follow-up plan. This is where I find that most real estate professionals lack. We all have great intentions to follow up with our customers, but it just doesn't always seem to get into action. So I wanna make sure that you have your follow-up plan in place and you're doing those items necessary to follow up with those customers, that sphere of influence, to keep those business funnels, those leads coming your way, right? And then number four is your personal finances. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in our day-to-day -day activities of our business that we don't stop and realize how much we're spending or not saving uh, in our personal finances. And so are you spending too much eating out? Are you spending too much on that morning latte? I don't know. So go through your personal finances and make sure they also line up because you really need balance in all four of these areas to help you have a successful rest of the year. So take a few moments to go in and dive into your goals and do this mid-year checkup and see how you're doing. So again, to recap those four items, your marketing budget, your income or your sales goal, your follow-up plan and that it's actually in place and working and your personal finances. So if you find that you're maybe not quite on track with your goals uh, and those four tips, then uh, I can give you a couple other blogs that you might want to read or consider. So again, check out my website, CynthiaDeLuca.com. Feel free to sign up for all the blogs, any other information, look in my shop. There's lots of stuff to download. But a few other blogs that I'll mention in the notes, or I'll tell you right now, three things that a business plan does for your real estate career three signs that you are a standout exceptional agent and what's on your daily checklist. So those might be great blogs to review to make sure you're on track. And again, you can sign up and you can check everything else out at CynthiaDeLuca.com.